Welcome to Total Network Inventory Tutorials and Examples. This video will show how to build and work with table reports. Creating a table report may come in handy when you want to stick to only the most important data in your report. This mode allows you to quickly create reports according to preset templates or set up your own template tailored to the specific situation. You can then reuse it in the future to build the same report. The templates that you can choose from are located on the sidebar to the right. Choose any template and Total Network Inventory will quickly build the report. By default, the report will be built for one node in the network tree that is currently selected. It can be one specific device, one group, or the entire network. If we enable multiple selection in the network tree, then we can select many separate groups and add or remove any individual devices that we need to include into the report. In contrast, with the Viewer and Reports mode, the main working area in Table Reports provides more options for adjusting the report on the fly. For example, you can choose which column to sort the table by. Clicking the same column header again will sort in descending order. You can also rearrange the columns themselves by dragging their headers to a different spot. You can hide the columns you're not interested in anymore. Just open the context menu on the header of any column and untick them. The new appearance of your report will be reflected in exported file and in print. If you'd like to restore the report's original look, simply switch between templates or rebuild this template by pressing F5. One of the biggest advantages of table reports over the viewer and reports mode is that you're not limited to preset templates here. To craft your own report template or find those you or your colleagues made earlier, scroll to the Custom Reports section at the bottom of the sidebar. Let's use the Report Builder to create our own template. You can easily build a report of any complexity here. Let's familiarize ourselves with the tools at our disposal. Here at the top, you can choose the report's focus or object. Changing the object also changes the list of fields that you can select for the report. The selected fields will appear in the list on the right. Finally, you can add conditions for any of the selected fields. This will help filter out information in the report, if so needed. Consider an example where we need to build a report and display its contents. Let's create the first template for this. We'll leave Asset as the object of the report and use it as the name of the template for convenience. Then we will select what information we need. You can browse the fields sorted into categories or use search to quickly display all the options. After we save this template, the program will build a report listing all installed software on the device. Now let's use search to find a program that should already be installed here. TNI has highlighted the software that we searched for, but the way the information is presented is not quite what we're looking for at this time. In this case, exporting the report as a spreadsheet, for example, will cause all installed software to be placed in one cell. This is extremely inconvenient for data processing. Now let's create another template with the same parameters, but select software as the object of the report. The program has built a report with the same information. But in this case, you can see that each software item now has its own cell. Let's use the search with filtering enabled to leave only the software of interest displayed. We see that two of the assets have the program that we need. This type of report guarantees the best display of information and allows for filtering when searching. The exported spreadsheet will be much easier to work with as well. When the report is converted to printable form, the display parameters are retained. Using search with quick filtering can be useful if you need to build a simple report. But if you need to build a more complex report that filters information based on multiple parameters, then that's where conditions will come into play. Let's show installation for two software titles. Enter the necessary criteria to modify the report, and after you save the changes, the new, pre-filtered report will be generated. Among the template management features, you can find the ability to quickly edit the saved template, pin it to the top, copy and more, with some of those actions available for standard templates as well. We'll show you how to schedule and export the report. To successfully export a template, we need only to specify the folder where the template should be placed. The program will promptly create the file there. 
Afterwards, this template can be easily imported into another copy of Total Network Inventory. Set up a schedule here, and the report will be created and exported automatically while you are away. If you want to go over this information to learn more about creating table reports, see our online manual. Thank you for watching.